Happy Fragrant Friday, Fraghead. Hey everybody, this has been here at That Cologne Guy, coming at you with a very rare blind buy review. I'm really looking forward to this one. I do not have very many blind buy reviews, especially because number one, I don't recommend blind buying. Uh, but in this particular case, I just couldn't resist. Why, you ask? Well, stay tuned and find out. Before I dive in on the review, let me just quickly say, since you know, since last Friday, yet again, it must be the what I call the hashtag Dr. Goo effect, uh, because we have had a huge upswing uh, since last uh, Friday in subscribers, and I really appreciate that. I really had a lot of fun with uh, Dr. Goo in our live stream, uh, our third one, if I'm not mistaken, and we will have, and the party will just keep on going because we will also be uh, doing another one uh, next month so i'm really looking forward to that and uh it, if you haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe of course of course we begin the countdown because uh, i am closing in on 1000 subscribers sometime this month it might be you you never know uh, if you don't have much to say about this particular fragrance itself, always leave your scent of the day. It's something I really enjoy. In fact, I'll just say right now, one of the reasons why I don't have too many complete blind buys is because I usually go through your sense of the day when you leave them. And then I've picked up over the over the months uh, and years of reviewing, um, I've actually grabbed a couple of them from your uh, collections and, and, and got a bottle and reviewed it. And I've never been even close to disappointed. Uh, so uh, uh, you guys have fantastic taste, but I don't need to tell you that. Let's dive in, shall we? This is so much fun. Uh, I went to Fragrantica and I did I love going into search by notes I did an episode on that and uh, you can go in and you can you know you just keep putting notes really until you get to nothing right so if you put like you know I put caramel and then oud and then if you put saffron you just keep going until eventually you'll get two or one or zero uh, fragrances and it's something I really enjoy, especially when I'm in a mood for like chocolate or coffee or, you know, a specific note. And you can also get rid of, you know, m m masculine, feminine, unisex. You can you can tailor it to whatever you would like. So so I put in a, a few notes. I know one was oud and one was caramel. Uh, the third one was saffron. And then, of course... You can also block notes, too, by the way, like if you don't want, uh, you know, if you want like pine needles or something, if you don't want one, um, then you can also exclude that. So it's a pretty cool feature. And I, I whittled it down to like, you know, five, six, seven. And one of them was this one. And the house is uh, Latafa. So it's Latafa. It's Arabic. And it is L-A-T-T-A-F-A. -A, so it'd be Latafa. And we will just say Latafa. Uh, I kind of like saying Latafa. It's really fun uh, to say that, actually. Uh, and this is a house in the UAE. So the UAE, uh, the United Arab Emirates, and um, uh, just a fascinating place, actually. I've had a, a number of friends who have lived there and, and, of course, invited, said, yeah, you should really check this out. And I have not been there, sadly. So if you guys are there or you've been there, please let me know uh, about the country because I would love to know more about it. Sounds like a, a positively wonderful place indeed. So I think this is my first house from United Arab Emirates. You can see here on the bottom it says Made in UAE. And then, of course, it's got the uh, more information, including the batch code, which I will talk about. Uh, I'm uh, actually here. I am. I might as well talk about it right now. Uh, the the name, of course, is Oud Mood. Try to say. In fact, I want you to say right now. Sit down. I know you guys do the dishes while you, you do the dishes while you're listening to me. I, you've told me that. Okay, so sit down and say say Oud Mood five times without smiling. I don't think you can do that. It's a lot of fun to say. It's a fun name. All right, it's light-hearted, and yes, it's time to bust it out. It's whimsical. So, so uh, a lot going on here. Really like it so far. Uh, the bottom, of course, has again the information. One thing I did not care for is I can't tell if this is an MB on the batch code or an M8. Either way, I put both of these in here uh, for the batch code checker, and they did not come back. So I contacted Latafa, uh, and they had they did not respond. 
Uh, so, or they haven't yet, although it's been, what, 13 days. That's quite a, and I, and yes, people always, did you check your spam folder? Yes, I checked my spam folder. I did not get a response, unfortunately. So, uh, I will be talking a little bit more about that as far, in, on, in terms of my rating, but Latafa gets a little slap on the wrist for not contacting me, because I was not able to, uh, get the batch code. If you guys have a bottle of this, or even anything from the house, let me know. I'll put this back up, and you can, uh, you know, pause the screen and just let me know if you have any information on on that. I found I found a couple examples of Latafa and they did not have an M8 or an MB, so I was a little curious about that and I contacted them and and did not receive a response. Indeed, uh, so let's talk about let's get to some good news though. I mean, look at this thing. Pull this out of a box uh, and and just. And tell me that the wow factor is not incredibly high. I really like that about this. Uh, in fact. Remember when I asked you guys if you keep your boxes and I had to hang my head in shame because practically everyone says, of course I do. Most of you said because you trade, you might trade them. Um, I, I don't really, tra I very, very rarely do any trade. In fact, I haven't done any trading in the last three or four years because I have to be so incredibly nitpicky with what I get. Um, but... Uh, I, so I, I usually recycle uh, my boxes, which, of course, is sacrilegious to frag heads. But uh, in, in this particular case, I will be keeping this one. And it's kind of fun. It's flapping, and then it's got, see? You can just pull it up like this. And uh, isn't that nice? Look at that. Look at that. Nice. It kind of, like it's like a wind chime. It's very nice. I really appreciate uh, this. Um, it, it is... I mean, it's a little cheap, but hey, come on, uh, for the price, you know, the, the fact that this can be had for between 20 and $35 is, is ludicrous. Uh, and so I am not going to take off any points for the slight cheapness uh, for that. So that's the box. Everything is great. Um, really enjoy it. I like it a lot. In fact, this one might even have to be uh, left out uh, in, for all of my thousands upon thousands of guests uh, to see when they come and visit me here at my house. Okay, so um, you open it up, and then you see, again, uh, another nice uh, touch here. It's got a little packaging to protect the bottle itself. And then let's take a look at the bottle. See what I mean? So very, very impressive stuff. It says, uh, make me sure I give it to you guys right. Yeah, La Tafa, you can see here on the cap. Um, and I really like the, the bottle itself is fantastic. It's quite charming indeed. Uh, the only thing I would say, I don't mind that this is uh, wrapped on. This is not really glued on. Eh, actually, I think it is slightly glued on, but it, it, it feels like you could just rip it off. Now, but I will say the labels, this is very inexpensive. And I will say you get what you pay for uh, in terms of uh, the fact that it's not embossed. So this is this is a pretty cheap sticker here that's just on. And then on the bottom, they also just slapped a pretty... Uh, inexpensive looking sticker on the bottom and, you know that said come on right i mean for what they're charging that's okay with i'm totally fine i'm just trying to point this out uh for the 74 of you okay so this is uh oud mood a little cheap here you know a little cheap we could take off a little uh third grade scratch and sniff uh sticker i'm not a big fan of that i do like this though and it is in its defense it is glued on uh but uh the ribbon is quite nice the juice looks great the cap is great uh bottom again could could be better uh, and I would actually prefer, again, I'm getting a lot of batch codes that are on the box, but not the bottle. I like I like it when the, the, the batch code itself is on the bottle. That is not the case. Now, the uh, atomizer is outstanding, and I will give you a spray. And I'm going to protect my microphone, and that gives you a little uh, insight and foreshadowing into uh, longevity. Here we go. Oh my. So I would say, uh, I would say if I, nine out of 10 on the atomizer, it's, it sprays quite well indeed. I'm very happy with that, especially because it is a little bit of a cheaper one. Uh, you certainly don't see that though, uh, in terms of the atomizer. Very, very good, sprays a lot, and uh, uh, very happy with that indeed. See what I mean? I like that cap. The cap has a, you know, it's got a, a good sound to it. So, so really a lot of good when it comes to presentation, some 
some a little cheap, but I'm not going to you know take off for that uh, because again, how can you uh, when you consider what they are uh, charging? I really appreciate uh, the presentation uh, a lot. Let's get to the notes. So really, really, what I get here is I well, of course, I get oud and caramel. What I wanted was an oud caramel or praline combination. That's what I was originally looking for, and and boy, did I get it. Um, I I I personally feel like this has a more of a floral bouquet and praline, or or I'm sorry, um, caramel. Uh, uh, of touch to it with with the oud is present but it doesn't dominate so this isn't one of those medicinal or even um uh, almost like almost like foul smelling ouds it's not like that um it it lingers in the back um it, and I, and i like that there's a calm cool confidence about the oud that's present here that i really like so um and I'll, I'll just go ahead and say when it comes to the actual overall no no i'll stick to the notes actually i want to stick to the notes <laughs> i'm getting excited here so so we have oud caramel this is basically one of those oud caramel rose um incense and then you can throw in this like saffron a lot of people will say this is like the traditional typical arabic cologne I, I i don't know enough to it's not my you know i don't know to if i if i can say that what i will say though is it, it does have uh a a kind of amouage uh a feel to it it does um i do know that oud and oud rose combinations are quite popular among in in in, in arab countries and and everywhere else but i mean a lot of times that combination is associated with that region i i am one of them who absolutely loves that combination love it uh, totally and so when i found out that it, they had caramel as well i just couldn't resist uh and and boy was was i left dumbfounded uh with this one the overall smell is simply divine it is just outstanding. The fact that this can be had for twenty to thirty-five dollars. This is a. I didn't get the year, by the way, or the nose. So excuse me. But this is a one hundred milliliter, three point four ounce, and it is an EDP, and it is the mother of all EDPs, my friends. This is like a extra EDP, all de parfum, all de toilette. Old de Benjamin. I don't know. Yeah, this is just this is just incredible uh, how much juice this has and how much it projects. I should say not the juice, but the concentration of it. Uh, wow, this is not even close to having a debate on beast mode. This is beast mode. Um, be careful with this one or not. Uh, but uh, you will, <laughs> if your skin eats up fragrance and you're tired of buying the buying these one hundred dollar, you know. Uh, fragrance designer fragrances that don't last i mean good god you will not have any problem with that when it comes to this nuclear blast okay so this is an oud caramel rose saffron incense fusion i did find i cannot speak to this but i wanted you i wanted to read three comments that i found uh, that was kind of a running theme um, among uh, commenters in fragrantica apparently this is a dupe i can't speak to this but I did find more than one person for each one, by the way, saying that this was a dupe for Oud Bouquet. I, I didn't get the houses. Oud Bouquet, and then you'll have to excuse me, Shagaf Oud, and it's S-H-A-G-H-A-F, Shagaf or Shagaf, uh, Oud, S-H-A-G-H-A-F. And then the last one was Oud Vani. Uh, looks like vanille, right? So V A N I L L E. Oud Vani. Didn't get the houses, but Oud Bouquet, Shagaf or Shagaf Oud, and Oud Vani. So apparently, this is a dupe, or 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 people have suggested it's a clone to those, or one of those at least. And again, I wanted to bring that up to you. I can't speak to that, but I wanted to. I do take that into consideration because if this house is kind of like what I call the hashtag Zara effect, if it's one of those houses where they're really kind of riding the coattails of, of niche companies, I do want that to be said, and I do think that that matters, and it should be taken into consideration in terms of rating. So so a originality cannot be considered incredibly high in terms so just just in terms of originality this they are not the first company to put out an oud caramel saffron incense uh rose combination that said that said if i mean i 
I would even categorize this as full-blown addicting to me. I have really enjoyed wearing this one a lot. Um, in fact, I'm having a hard time keeping it away from being my new signature scent. Uh, because I do review so many, um, and I'll, I won't say what it is, but I've got another one coming in my next week in my uh, collection that uh, is another one that I'm really having a difficult time putting away. So it's just an embarrassment of riches here at that cologne guy. I really do enjoy this one. It is fun. It is it is sophisticated. It is uh, it is uh, m mysterious. Uh, at least here. You know, it might be kind of par for course for some countries, but here it's not in, in the States. And so I, I, I just love it. I mean, I love the fact that the, the caramel to me is more of the, the main player with, with the, some floral notes uh, and the saffron. Um, and then, like I said, the oud kind of plays off to the side. And I, I just love the beautiful symphony of these notes. Very well blended uh, fragrance. Even if it is a dupe, um, I'm going to uh, tip my mm -hmm. cap to La Tafa. So uh, now let's go to Long <laughs> Speaking of amazing, let's go to Long <laughs> longevity and projection and sillage good god uh, so I, I have to say if you spray this on a rubber uh, band uh, watch band so some of you guys you know prefer the steel bracelets right some people prefer like the rubber it's on an iwa or an apple watch excuse me uh, you'll get the rubber uh, something like this uh, be careful because if you wear a different fragrance every single day you're going to have to really be careful because just spraying this near uh, your watch band is going to get you about 48 to 72 hours. And that's one spray. That is one spray. So be very careful with this one. Longevity is one of the best that I've ever tried. One of the best. I'm not a big fan of superlatives. I won't say the best as far as the longest, but I will say we are clocking in to get ready. We're, we are clocking in to 20 to 24 hours hours when it comes to longevity Woo! Uh, their site says that it is long lasting and boy are do they mean it so uh, go easy on the trigger especially if you wear this one to work be very careful with this little guy or gal when it comes to um, longevity and, and and projection so let's get to projection projection is going <laughs> Projection is going to destroy the ozone layer for the first three hours. Uh, and then from three hour on, it will be at uh, a room's length. I am not, <laughs> I'm an eight by 12 room. I am not joking. Um, and then from eight hours till 24 hours, it will be an arm's, 20 hours, it'll be an arm's length. And then at the 20 hour mark down to 24, it will finally become a skin scent so outstanding work when it comes to that i love that about this fragrance you know i've said before you know for those people who just put stuff on these reviewers who you know they go like this and then they go straight in, into their their audi you know and then they go from their audi to their park the in the indoor parking lot at their job and then back to the indoor parking lot and then they drive home and come back in and say at last that's different i come in and out of, of the outdoors i walk a lot i'm outside a lot and and this thing this thing is a workhorse okay so this this is battle tested my friends and then siage of course so uh, leaving a scent trail would be just simply superb and outstanding you will get noticed and I always say, I prefer to say notice because, you know, some some people love fragrance and they will stop you and say, oh my God, what are you wearing? And then some people find it off-putting and right and, and don't like uh, to smell fragrance. And, and, and we've talked about before how certain, you know, some companies have policies about being fragrance neutral and things like that. Siage will definitely, you will definitely get noticed if you walk some uh, past somebody uh, at the end of your work shift about hour nine, eight and a half, nine, and you say, you know, have a nice day, see you tomorrow, uh, get ready for, oh my God, what are you wearing or what is that? It smells so nice. Uh, you will get noticed and you will get compliments um, uh, undoubtedly with this one. Okay, so let's talk. Let's talk gender. Um, and you guys know that on my unsponsored uh, Lucky Scent, extremely uh, expensive uh, gender uh, continuum here. Here is uh, feminine, uh, unisex, and masculine. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna put this right down the pike. This is a unisex fragrance. I mean, they they market it as for men and women, uh, but it, and it truly is. And and I have to say. I was a little concerned it might be too quote unquote feminine 
uh, for me, and it is not even close to that. Uh, I, this this really is a unisex fragrance in the true sense of the word. Uh, I this would work wonderful on a woman. Uh, this would work well. It works fantastic for me. I, I can tell you that right now. Uh, and so, and it is not even close to being you know too too feminine uh, by any stretch of the imagination. So I'm actually going to go on my gender. I'm going to go fifty fifty. I'm going to go fifty fifty split. I think you'll see fifty percent women, fifty percent men who actually went out and bought it have as a signature scent and and really wanted this fragrance again nothing but um, wonderful news when it comes to that i can't see how anyone would dislike this if they like this is another one that's about the the notes itself if you like a gourmand if you like an oud if you will find this delicious um actually and uh, if you don't like those type of fragrances or don't like fragrances that are beast mode stay far away okay so that is the gender we're gonna go 50 50 age you know this is a really nice one um i i i I stand by what I said about the notes. I think this is all about the notes, not the age. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say 18 and up. Now it's that simple. It's really not a, a youthful, mature. It has nothing to do with that. It's really more of if you like an oud caramel uh, combination with with the rose. So some guy some guys you know some guys if they hear that there's a rose note in it or click I'm out uh, and no way. Uh, and uh, do not be dissuade uh, from 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 that one because uh, the 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 rose is just wonderful. I love rose as a note in men's per- colognes. I mean, anyway, so call me biased, but um, I really like the rose here, and it is not too feminine at all. Uh, not even a close call. So, man, uh, this one is just a lot of good here when it comes to this fragrance. Okay, so when it comes to seasons, let me just say, I I know that most people will suggest a fall winter in this regard uh, because of the the heaviness of it. I'm going to suggest, though, that these types of notes oftentimes, if if we're saying that this is a quote-unquote typical cologne that you would find in Arab countries, then it's not like there's you know a lot of there's not a a harsh winter there uh, necessarily and so so I'm gonna say for me yes I I I I concede that it's associated more with cooler climates it will do better in cooler climates it's a fall winter that said I do think that the the the, the fragrance is just fantastic and outstanding so i do think as long as you kept this thing at bay one or two sprays possibly three you could you could wear this in very very hot climates um it has been in the mid 70s here uh, this the last two weeks and i've been wearing this and i have not found it too cloying at all if i if i felt that it you know 90 to 100 to 105 with 100 percent humidity yeah it's probably going to be rather rather cloying for for many so just be very very careful if you are in a hot climate that said though i would not exclude this from being an all year fragrance i really wouldn't just because i i find it addicting uh i i love this fragrance oh so much uh it's so much fun when you get a blind buy that doesn't even not just meets your uh expectations but but uh supersedes them uh easily so uh, uh this one has performed exceedingly well in the weather and i would uh again say colder climates be careful with hot okay so let's talk let's talk event um and when it comes to the gourmands you know people have different opinions i mean you know if you're walking around smelling like like caramel and things in, in with oud mixed it, I would say in an office setting, if you if you are going to be, let's say let's say for example in your office, uh, one day a week, let's say a Friday, let's say Friday you guys have a bunch of uh, small room meetings, so you have a lot of uh, board meetings and they're in smaller areas, and as soon as the meeting starts, they close the door, and you're around you know ten, five, ten, fifteen people, and it's a relatively small area, um, and then you have more than one meeting throughout the day, and then it's Friday, so you leave a little early. I, I would probably not wear it on a day like that. I think that if you're if you're walking around in open spaces, you would be fine. Fine, but I do think. I do think that if you're going to be in in closed spaces for a fair amount of time with people, by the way, you don't know if it, you know, if they're pro fragrance or not, or maybe your company has made suggested 
going fragrance free or fragrance neutral, um, I would probably opt against this fragrance that day. That said, you know, if you're um, working at a, a car dealership or, or, or somewhere where you're in a very open, open space, I think this would be wonderful. And uh, and I love the fact that this would be day night. Uh, this is this kind of juice you can rock anytime, anywhere, especially at the price point for 20 to 35 bucks. That's ridiculous. Uh, you can put on a, a t-shirt and flip flops and rock this. I guess I probably wouldn't put this on after I hit the pool, my vacation, and then went to happy hour at the hotel. Um, I admit I'd probably look at something like you know Nautica Voyage um, in the in the heart of summer. That said, though, for for um, for anything away from water, how's that? Uh, I would probably say any event would be fine. This this one has happy hour. It's got work. It's got clubs. It's got date night out. It's got everything. Um, I find it very sexy. I find it attractive. I think it's it's a confident fragrance. Um, I think people. I, I can see this being a huge compliment getter for you. I, I would just say if you have a romantic night in, uh, then uh, be a little bit careful with that because uh, if you'll be in close quarters after the meal then you'd want to uh, uh, you know, go easy, very easy on the trigger on this thing because whew, uh, it is uh, on a level of its own in terms of how beast mode it is. Okay, so uh, I won't belabor that point though, but I wanted to uh, mention that. Now, let's get to the rating. The rating was excruciatingly difficult for me because I have to tell you, of the last 13 days uh, I've had this, I have... <laughs> I, uh, I have I, I have flip flopped between four and five, and I'm even doing it now during the recording. I I have to say like, here here's the thing, the the box is nice. It is a little cheap. Like like they slapped a st this sticker on here. This is like a, this is slapped onto it. Um, and I told you guys about of course about the the the, the mysterious batch code. Um. But I also feel like I can't fault them because it's so cool looking, right? I mean, it's like someone can say, okay, well, I mean, what, doesn't this outdo uh, the, the the sticker? And I think the answer really is yes for me. So I'm not going to take off, especially since it's, it is a cheap eat and, and what, for what they're charging. Here's what I'm going to do. I would like to give this a five out of five in terms of just overall smell. And, you know, I, I complain about longevity <laughs> You will have no problems at all with that, with this guy um, or gal. So, so this one really is an incredible performer, and I want to tip my cap to them. So here's what I'm going to do. I, I'd like to, this is a five out of five, and actually possibly a six out of five with the elusive bonus spray, and just in terms of smell and deal. Okay, I'm not going to take off for the cheapness, uh, cheap uh, quality of the box because of already what I already said. But here's what I'm going to do. I, I feel like I want to honor the people who have said more than three people, right? And then there are three fragrances. Uh, so each fragrance had more than one person saying that this is a dupe or a copy. I, I want to I give voice to that. And you can speak to that, by the way, if you feel like that is or it is absolutely not. Um, I, I, I take that into consideration for my rating. However... I don't think I, it's enough to dock a spray just simply because um, I can't speak to them. So for all I know, maybe it's not a dupe at all. So, But I want to keep that as a possibility. The other thing, though, is I did contact tack them and ask them about the batch code. They did not get back to me. Yes, I checked my spam folder, and it's not there. And that's kind of lame because I really would have liked them to help me out with talking about the batch code. I didn't even get the, we are incredibly busy right now, and please be patient. You know, I didn't get any of that stuff. Uh, I got no reply at all. So this grumpy old man is indeed docking one spray. You're upset. No, I know. I know. I know you're upset. Uh, but the fact that, you know, it could be a dupe, and then the fact that La Tafa did not contact me back, uh, a, 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 a figurative slap on the wrist to them. So I'm going to go four out of five for this one. And I tell you what, you know how I always use the atomizer, and I give you one spray? Here's what I'll do. If, if months from now I miraculously get a response for them, here's what I will do. In the description box, I will add back the fifth spray and i'll put five out of five just for you guys if they contact me without contacting them first again uh, i will i will do that uh, for them until then though four out of five so we are going to go four out of five sprays and then i'm off to work so um get ready for the clothespin 
around the nose uh, if you work near me. Okay, here we go. Uh, four sprays, one on each wrist and one on each side of the neck. Four, Oud Mood. Say it five times without smiling. You cannot do it. Uh, by Latafa, United Arab Emirates. Very, very impressive indeed. Boom. 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 Woo! And boom. Damn. Beast. Hashtag beast mode. Yet another fun review for you guys. I hope you had as much fun as I had uh, reviewing this one. Thanks for watching till the end. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember, my friends, fragrance marks the celebration of today. Take care, everybody. <laughs>